Potty training is probably the most important thing that you can teach your puppy. In today's video, I will be sharing my top tips on how I potty train my puppy within a couple of weeks. My name is Danette and welcome to the Dog Mom Diaries. Tip number one that I wanted to share with you guys, as soon as you get your puppy, this is what you need to do. You need to take him outside to the potty area and stay there with him until he goes potty. Make sure you get in the whole moment because as soon as he's done, you need to praise him and that is point number two. So as soon as you get puppy, go to the designated area, play a little with him because he's still going to have to get used to you. Then as soon as he goes potty, you praise them. And now this is tip number two. You get three different types of praises and what my recommendation is, is firstly, you want to start off with treats. Now treats are amazing because most puppies are very food driven in the beginning because they're still growing. So most of the time they're probably hungry. So using treats or using your usual dog food is a great way of praising them after they've done something that you like. The second way of praising them is verbal praising, like saying good boy or good girl or well done or yes, good boy you know things like that is verbal praising and then the third way of praising them is is physical praising so when you patting them on the head or you give them a good rub or you know you give them some kisses it's physical praising Tip number three is for the first week that you have your puppy. And this tip is to take them out every two to three hours without fail. And this is not just for daytime, this is for nighttime as well. We did this for the first two to three days after having Schmidt and it made such a difference because there was no accidents inside. So there was no room for him to try and have an accident because every single two to three hours we would take him out, we would be there with him until he goes potty. And sometimes we would wait outside for like half an hour come back in for five minutes and then take him out again if he doesn't go potty and literally wait for him until he goes potty outside or in the designated area we can prevent accidents from happening to the best of our capabilities by putting in place the alarms that you need to set on your phone and the good time schedule to take your puppy out every single two to three hours Tip number four that I wanted to share is accidents will happen. But what we can do from our side is we can make sure that we check the body language because you know when the puppy starts sniffing around, they're ready to go potty, then you know that it's, you know, something's about to happen. Tip number five that I can give it, and this is a very specific one that I had to learn myself, is you need to be aware of your schedule the whole time. So I'm very lucky because I schedule my own appointments for my work during the day and I, you know, mix and match the, the appointments so that I'm out for no longer than three hours at a time. The truth of the matter is that these puppies don't know how to control their bladder. So if I need to go and work, I need to make sure that either someone's home to take him out or I get back in time to take him out because I can't expect him to hold his bladder because he doesn't know how to. You will also see that puppies don't like to go potty in the area where they're sleeping. So this is also a pro for when you have a crate and when you do crate training. So a couple of things that you guys need to just remember throughout this process of potty training your puppy. The first thing is that accidents will happen and that is okay. We are all human and mistakes do happen and all we need to do is we need to focus on this training as long term because it's going to take months, it might even take a year or so to fully potty train your puppy. So. Don't be hard on yourself, don't be hard on your puppy because they are still learning and they learn through absolutely everything that they do, especially on how you react to whatever they do. The second thing that you need to remember is that their bladders are only fully developed on more or less four months. So they don't know how to hold their, their bladders. Do your best and try not to leave your puppy inside for more than three hours because accidents are prone to happen for that first couple of months. And the last thing that you guys need to remember throughout this whole process is when these accidents happen, make sure you don't draw any attention to it. So if your puppy made an accident, you want to distract him, get a Kong, get something to keep him busy, put him in his playpen or in his crate, try not to let him see you clean it because the more attention you draw to it, the more he sees it as, okay, she or he's giving attention to that area. Maybe that was a good thing that I did. You know, they, they can interpret it as, as that. Focus on taking him out 
um, consistently being patient with, uh, with your puppy and waiting for them to potty outside. Use positive reinforcement training to train them in the best type of confident, you know, self-assured puppy that we possibly can. So that is it for today's video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you and I hope you have an amazing day. Mm -hmm.